Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a starburst effect in Photoshop. So you're going to want to go to File and New, and then just whatever width and height you want. I'm going to go to 500 by 500 to keep it simple. Okay, once that's there, just I'm going to resize this so it's easy to work with. Now you're going to want to go first to the gradient tool, and then at the bottom of your little taskbar on the left, you'll see two squares. You need to the foreground colour is the lighter one and the background colour is the darker one. So just choose two colours that you want. I'm going to go for a green, so I'm going to have a light green as the foreground. And I'm going to go for a dark green thing for the background. Not too dark though. There, that'll do. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to draw yourself a straight line down from the top to the bottom of your canvas and you'll get that gradient. Now come to the top of the Photoshop window and go to filter Then you're going to want to go down to distort and then down to wave. Once you're on wave this box will pop up. Now under wavelength I always bring the bottom bar under wavelength right down to the bottom and then adjust the, adjust the top bar. So you slide the top bar along and that will also move the bottom bar. You need to make sure that you put your type onto square and then you should get a result that looks similar to what I've got in that little preview window there. So just adjust that to how you want it. So that's alright. Then amplitude, I always bring that up quite high so then you can really define between the different colours. You don't want them to really merge. Make sure that the scales on 100% and 100% for horizontal and vertical. And then the number of generators, I just keep that at 5. And then undefined areas, you need to select repeat edge pixels and click OK. You'll then get something that looks like that. Go up to the top again to filter and distort, and then this time to polar coordinates. Now you can see the starburst effects there in that window but you might not see this when you first come on because yours might say polar to rectangular but you need to change that up to rectangular to polar and click OK and there you've got the really simple starburst effect or sun rays effect some people call it which uh, looks quite nice but what, I, what else I like to do is I like to get an image to go in the middle of that so if I just go to Google now and go to images I'm going to search for something an Apple logo there, there's a green one there, so we'll, that'll go nicely, so we'll just click on that one. And copy that image, and then go back to Photoshop. Where is it? There. And then Command V to paste it in, or you might have to press Control V if you're on a PC. Now you can see there's like a white outline around the Apple logo that I've just put in there. So what you're going to want to do is come up to the Magic Wand tool. If you can't see that, right click and click Magic Wand tool. And then select well, click on the white area and that'll select it and press delete. Then and that just disappears. So you're just left with the actual image. Now you can move that around to and make it look how you want it. To. But I like to go to Control T or Command T depending on PC or Mac. And then resize it. And then click apply to apply the transformation and move it into position. And there you go, it's quite simple, but it looks quite good and it looks quite professional. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe and visit my website which is sosguru.com. Alright, thanks.